One thing a lot of people overlook, they couldn't see me. One thing they really overlook, I'm talking about a lot of foreign nationals that come to the come to England or in the UK, they overlook language barriers. I think language and culture barriers are huge when it comes to finding work. I think it's huge because if you cannot communicate and the people that have gone into the security industry in the past and fight their way into working in the industry and then when they get on the site and the foreman or someone senior asks them to do something or gives them an instruction and they cannot follow it because they have not learned, number one, social etiquette, they have not learned, they've not learned the truth in regard to the value that knowing English is paramount, being able to communicate is paramount. No workplace can function without communication, clear, crystal clear communication. <coughs> so therefore, a lot of people overlooked language barriers. Now, in things like saying thank you, or the rice, right, right, the right facial features when talking, shaking a hand, saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, please, thank you, appreciated, all those kind of words I've just mentioned, it's so important because they promote and boost the morale of the workplace. And sadly, as people come into the country, they cannot fit into the culture of the workplace. The employer says to themselves, how can I employ this person? He has come to me, but he has nothing to offer. Even though he might have a qualification, but he cannot follow instruction because he has not learned the vitals of speaking and communication. Your communication skills are so important to you. Your communication skills will take you to success according to Les Brown, the famous motivational speaker. So learn to communicate. Sometimes your communication might mean that you've got to speak to a group or when you step up you've got to brief a group. How are you going to do it if there's a serious language barrier and you cannot get through with the person is unable to understand you? So what I'm going to say is, look, if you want to pave a way to make it smoother for you to transition in the UK, if you want to pave a way, it's best to get some training done, best to learn a little bit of English, best to improve your level of English. Don't think, oh, I know it and that's it. No. If you're not into constant and never-ending improvement, then there's a problem. And even those of you that live in the UK, somebody will say a certain word to you, but you don't understand it because, it's not that you don't have English, it's because you have a poor vocabulary. What about improving it a little bit, making yourself sound a bit more professional, instead of saying, in it, yo, mandem, ting, yeah? Fam. Using all these, I'm not saying that the words that shouldn't be used, but if you know what I mean, you, you, you know, you get me, you know. But that, if you, I'm not saying that that's not to be used, but learn the professional language. Jim Rohn, one of my favorite motivational speakers, says words are like bright lights. Words are like bright lights, according to ancient texts. Your word is a lamp to my foot, says the psalmist. I'll say that again. Your word is a lamp to my foot. Words, when you know that when you say a certain word, it means something specific. When you use another word to explain something, it means something else. Your words have 
different meanings. So I want to learn the professional language. Now if you want to, I'm happy to, more than happy to give you a free consultation with free course. And maybe a couple of sessions if you want. One free consultation and one free course. And then if you need more, we can work on improving the communication for you so that you can have a smooth transition into the workplace. You don't want to be knocking on doors and people are looking at you. I mean, I remember an Asian guy speaking to me years ago. He did the course and did another course with me. He did three courses with me. But it was security. I said it was security at his first day. But his English was a little bit poor. And he needed to change the way he spoke. And all he kept saying to me was, That's what he kept saying to me. That means, and, and the tone he was using as well. You know, and I looked at him. I looked at him and I... I looked at him and I said, you need to create some changes with what you're doing. You need to create change. And you know what? I've seen so many people out there that have created the change. And when they create the change, guess what happens? It's like you're in a... You've got an automatic door and it opens up. The automatic door opens up so that you can just walk through it rather than pushing through it. Learn to create change. Point number one, learn to open the door. Let the doors open automatically. Create some change and the door will open automatically. Get in touch. My number's on the screen. Vikas Chopra. Wolverhampton. Get in touch with me. Excellence, training and coaching. Professionalize yourself. Overnight.